2018 Lincoln MKT Reserve. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to talk about the standard equipment as well as the optional equipment on the 2018 MKT Reserve trim. Uh, now, what's new for 2018 is that they've adopted that Premier and that Reserve name for the trims uh, from some of the other Lincoln lineups. So I, I'm glad they did that. Uh, it was really time for them to, to, to kind of have everything the same. Uh, the only thing that I really wish is that on that they instead of uses the name Premier that they went with Select and Reserve like they did with the Navigator because there's a lot of standard equipment uh, that you're not seeing uh, on other vehicles uh, that are part of this and that Premier just doesn't do, uh, do it justice because most of the other vehicles on the Premier uh, just like with the seats you get the luxury soft touch seats uh, which are not a the genuine leather, the bridge of wear leather. And this one comes standard with your bridge of wear leather seat. So that's, that's really more of a select trim. So I wish they would have used that name, but uh, that's, uh, that's not my call. So, uh, but uh, it's a great vehicle. Lots of standard equipment on this that I think you really appreciate. Uh, and I uh, think you, you'll like there. Now, also for new for 2018, a couple different colors. Uh, so they did away with the uh, Midnight Sapphire Blue, as well as the Palladium White Gold in your Lux Metallic. Um, but they brought us three other colors to replace those. One of those is the Blue Diamond, also the Ivory Pearl, it's a tri-coat metallic, and then this one, the Iced Mocha uh, Metallic too. So some great, some great colors to replace those, and they're pretty similar in the shades, just a little bit different uh, on those there. Now, between the Premier and the Reserve, same standard equipment between the two. Uh, so when you go from that Premier to the Reserve, the difference though is the engine and the, the drivetrain that you get. So in the Premier, you get the 3.7 V6 with the front wheel drive. When you go to Reserve, you get the 3.5 liter, twin tur that, that twin turbocharged V6 engine with all wheel drive with adaptive suspension. Uh, so that's something that you'll want to make sure uh, if you're wanting that engine, that's the one that you're going to want to go with. So also, when you go to this, uh, this trim, now you're able to get some other packages and standalone options that aren't available on the Premier. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So now the engine uh, is going to get you 365 horsepower, 350 foot pound of torque. And for gas mileage, you're 15 in the city, 21 on the highway. So uh, this is definitely the engine that you're wanting. As you can tell, plenty of power. So if you're wanting to tow something, uh, this is the trim you're going to want to get standalone option is your tow package uh, with that class uh, four receiver hitch uh, class three or four receiver hitch so uh, I think you'll appreciate that as well if you're looking for that vehicle that nice luxury SUV with that all-wheel drive that high performance engine uh, so that you can tow any maybe trailer you have, might have back there I think up uh, trailer towing is up to about 4,500 pounds I believe uh, so it'll, it'll get you some pretty good towing there uh, now also the otherwise it's all the standard equipment on the Premier is the same as the reserve so as we uh, go around this and talk about that standard equipment equipment. Uh, I have a video on the Premier trim already. If you've already watched that video, go ahead and fast forward to the timestamp down below because we're going to basically I'm going to have you watch that clip uh, that goes over all that standard equipment since it is the same equipment that's on the, the reserve. Uh, so if you've watched that video, go ahead and fast forward to the optional equipment and that, those standalone options as I cover those. But if you haven't, sit back, enjoy. I think you're going to be really pleased in all the standard equipment on this reserve. As we move to the front, one of the things I want to remind you is all the safety features on this vehicle. Of course, you're going to be really protected with all the airbags. You're going to have those front dual stage airbag here inside for the driver and the front passenger for those front collisions. Also, they're going to have an airbag on, on those seats uh, to protect them from that side collision. And then even the first, second, and third row is going to be protected with that canopy airbag that comes down on the side to protect them from the, the windows there too. So uh, really protected in the way of airbags. Also, you're going to get that SOS post-crash alert system. So if they do have an, an alert, it's going to, uh, going to honk the horn so people know that you're off the road. Also, uh, you do have that 911 assist uh, that goes along with that. And then you have advanced track with roll stability control. So it's going to keep you on that intended path. So uh, really protected. Uh, a lot of safety features that go along in these vehicles. A lot of times I forget to mention that because it's a lot of features that I see on all the Ford and Lincoln vehicles across the board because they are really dedicated to safety. Uh, so I think you're going to see that, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned those safety features. Now, up here in the front, you're going to see the satin, or the actually it's a chrome uh, split wing grille. So, real sharp, it really pops. Chrome surround that goes around these automatic HID headlights. So, they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark. Also, they're rain sensing, so if it's, you have your wipers on, they're going to come on as well. And then uh, also HID is so much brighter. And also in the 
one of the things that I, I really don't understand on the Lincoln model lineup is why this isn't called like a select or even higher because there's equipment that's standard on the Premier that you can't even find unless you go up to reserve on some of the other model lineups and one of those is the adaptive headlamps so as you're turning it's going to turn to light up that road so uh, you're getting that as standard equipment as well as auto high beams too so that's another feature that you normally see in a luxury package for the reserve and your select that you're getting uh, on this package is standard equipment on all of your MKTs. So uh, some great features that go along with that and you get fog lights down here too. Uh, so and I know a lot of the other SUVs in the uh, Lincoln lineup, those there's LED lights down there, but they're not fog lights. So these are fog lights that can be turned on to help you see on uh, the road ahead of you. So all those uh, are standard features on this and you're gonna see the nice uh, chrome trim down here as well that goes around that. Uh, as well as the black inserts in that grill down there. So some great look here in the front, some uh, great features that are standard on all your MKTs that are just, uh, just great features. As we move to the side, you're gonna see the wheel that's standard on all of your Premier MKTs as well as your Reserve, and that is these 19-inch premium painted aluminum wheels. So great looking wheel. Uh, I love this design as well, and just a nice uh, finish to that uh, too there. Now on the mirror, you do have a body colored mirror cap. You have turn signal indicator here on the outside. Also, you do get power heated glass, and it comes also with uh, memory features too, so which we'll get a little bit more of that um, when we get to the inside. And it's going to have that puddle lamp that's going to light the vehicle up um, beside it, uh, make it a little bit easier as you approach the vehicle so you can see uh, underneath it and, you know, right there along beside the vehicle. So a lot of people like that uh, as well. So you can use that with your um, remote start or your keyless entry, I should say. Now, this does have your intelligent access, so that allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket. Uh, as you approach the vehicle, you put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle and you can set it up in the controls or in your settings to open unlock just the driver's door or all the doors and then you do have uh, when you get out of the vehicle you just press a little knob here and it's going to lock it up as well so you don't have to get the keys out of your pocket even has your push button start when you get inside so you don't have to even start the vehicle you don't have to get the keys out either so uh, that's uh, a lot of people like that They're able to put that in the purse or pocket or whatever and not have to worry about it also, you do get keypad here on the pillar. That allows you to be able to leave those keys inside, or even if you want to, if you don't have your keys on you, you can access it with your own personal code that you can set uh, as well there. And then you get remote start with the key fob, so you can start that from the comfort of your home. So all standard equipment there with all those features uh, that are really nice here on this. Now you're going to see the nice chrome accent around the windows, and I like it's a little thicker here at the top, as well as you're going to see the chrome accent on your door handle, and then the lower rocker molding down there. So just a real sharp look, you know, you have the, all the body colored accents with the chrome, uh, and uh, just looks real sharp, gives it that luxury look. And then to finish it off here on the side, you do get uh, here the uh, privacy glass for these uh, windows for the uh, second row as well as the third row. Not only is it something that allows it to be a little bit cooler on the inside for them, to get that protect them from the sun, but just looks real nice as well on the outside of the vehicle. As we move to the back, one of the things I want to show you is the roof. Uh, standard equipment on even your Premier is going to be your glass roof. Uh, so it's going to give you this black roof because around the glass is going to be black accents. So with the privacy glass, uh, or the, you get that privacy uh, tinted on that glass, the glass roof, so it's going to be black. So it gives you that black accent that goes from the front, clear across to the back, including this rear spoiler back here. So, and that glass roof does come standard with the uh, power sunshade as well. So a uh, great feature for that. So you're going to have that open glass, not only a bigger one there for the front, but also a smaller one there in the back for those even in the third row seat so to be able to enjoy as well. And then you're going to have your rear defrost back here with rear wiper. So LED tail lights go clear across the back here uh, with the chrome accent. So uh, it's going to be a, that's real nice, safe, nice safety feature having uh, those brake lights go clear across the lift gate. So people are going to be able to really make sure that they can see you. And you, of course, your brake light up here as well in the middle of your spoiler too. And you just have your rear view camera with reverse sensing. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you using that backup camera. And then the reverse sensing comes in handy because then that way you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. And I like that it's integrated into these reflectors on the bumper too there. And then you're going to have your chrome tip dual exhaust under here. Just give it a nice look here. And then uh, also it does have your power lift gate. So you do have a button on your remote. So you can press it twice and open it up. It's also a button on the dash. So if you're inside and kids need to get stuff in the back, you can hit that button. And also you can just hit this button here if you have the key fob on you. So uh, that comes in handy. Even if it's locked, you just press that button and it's going to open up. And one of the things that my wife and I, we have an MKT ourselves, have noticed that if you're really good at it, you can hit your foot and, and, and get that to pop open too. Um, so just a little 
little tip there for you. Now here in the back you do have the uh, rear independent suspension so you get a great ride but also you get that nice functionality of having a little bit extra storage compartment because of that so as you can see it has a nice deep well to be able to store some bags in as well as you can go underneath that seat too uh, giving you that extra storage compartment under there too so 50-50 uh, split bench seat for the third row seat gives you the functionality of being able to fold one seat down or another not having to fold both of them down and flatten to the floor uh, too so that gives you um, some nice uh, you know, functionalities there. Uh, now to, to, do, to demonstrate that, uh, this vehicle is actually the reserve with the Elite package so it has the power third row which if you watch the reserve video we'll talk more about that. Um, so, but I do want to demonstrate exactly uh, how that folds flat because not only does it fold flat into the floor but also you get a tailgate uh, mode with that. So one of the things you'll need to remember first is to lay these headrests down. Uh, so you can pull, pull the strap and it's going to release that headrest to go against the seat. And then also, uh, there's two different switches that are on the manual uh, seat uh, that's standard on the Premier. And uh, those uh, straps there, you pull one of them, it's going to release the seat back. Uh, to uh, un It unlocks it so then it, it's free. And then uh, you've got another strap that's going to control the release or the lock from the front of the, the cushion seat cushion itself on the front so then they can flow free. So that's why you can be able to put it in a tailgate mode. So if you just release the strap for the seat cushion, it's going to put it in this uh, tailgate mode. Let me go ahead and show you uh, real quick on this one how that works. So that'll be on that, that right side there. So it shows you how that can be in that tailgate mode there. And then on the left side, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how it stows uh, completely flat into the floor. So it gives you both of those uh, functionalities. And even on the manual seat, uh, now this is power. And keep in mind, this is a reserve elite package equipment for the power feature. So uh, on the Premier, what standard is the manual fold. Uh, so just uh, please keep that in mind since I'm not demonstrating that on this vehicle because I don't have a Premier in stock. Uh, but I wanted to show you that. So a uh, real nice functionality because it gives you that that flat low level in here so you can just bring things right in there and gives you that that uh, flexibility there so I'm um, gonna put both of those in the normal mode and put those back into position so uh, some that's uh, a great uh, system uh, for this vehicle also you do have the cargo netting so you can put that netting back here put all those small items in there so they won't roll around and annoy you uh, so that's a great system as well uh, in there and then your spare tire and get access to that is right here as well. So um, great system and cargo management system back here that I think you'll really enjoy. So as we move to the inside, let me first start with the different availabilities that you have for the interior trim. Uh, now there's three different options on the Premier or the Reserve, uh, either one on the interior trim. And that is uh, first you can get the charcoal black interior trim uh, and that is going to be your charcoal black seats. Also, charcoal black environment or your dash with the walnut, uh, the the walnut burl uh, wood accents. A little bit different than this uh, wood accents. A little bit lighter uh, shade there for you, uh, and so that's available as one of the options. Also, you can get the dune interior. Now, the dune interior is going to give you your dune seats but also it's going to give you that coffee with dune environment so the dash will be a, a kind of a brown dash with the, the dune on the bottom part of that but uh, bottom part of your doors and that Parisian uh, walnut or Parisian bur burl uh, wood accents just like you're seeing on this vehicle here and then you have your charcoal black with hazelnut uh, just like this vehicle that you're seeing here so it's going to get your hazelnut seats with the charcoal black environment so as you're seeing here with that wood trim uh, as well that you get on the dune so that uh, looks real nice it even has a little chrome accent across the dash too so just blends everything real nicely so those are your three options uh, for your interior trim now as you get in the vehicle one thing you're going to notice is the easy entry and exit seat and uh, so I like that it just makes it a little bit get, of course easier to get in and out of the vehicle as you can see the seats back the steering wheel is up out of place uh, so you can get in and out of the vehicle and then when you go ahead and hit your push button start to start the vehicle you're going to see the seat moves into position the steering wheel comes down first and then towards you if you have it uh, adjusted that way so it does have your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel as well as uh, dual power seats that are uh, I think they're a 12 way including your power lumbar I believe so yeah actually it's a 12 way so you do have your seat cushion seat back as well as 
a four-way position for your lumbar as well. So uh, some nice features to go along with that. And you'll notice as it's, it's adjusting, it's going to do that for the last person that drove the vehicle. So if you weren't and you have, since it has driver memory for three different drivers, if you're the number two driver, as it's you start the vehicle, you just hit that number two and it's going to put it into those positions as it's, uh, you know, uh, shifting that. So if you're the taller driver, the shorter driver, it's going to adjust it that way as well. So I like those features. Also memorizes the mirror. So it's going to adjust that mirror and put that in, into position for the whatever driver that is as well. So uh, real nice features I think that you'll enjoy with that system there. Uh, that uh, And as you notice, it pulls it back and the steering wheel is going up first and then it's going back towards it. So uh, that, that really opens it up to be able to get in and out a lot easier there. Now these front seats, as I mentioned, uh, do have the 10-way uh, power uh, driver and front passenger seat, but also they have heated and cooled seats as standard equipment on these. And the seats also are the premium leather seats, so that bridge of wear leather seats throughout. And that's why I really think Lincoln needed to make this trim model the Select, because in the Select is when you go from the luxury soft touch on the other trim models to these uh, seats, as well as you don't get cooled seats in a Premier on any of the other Lincoln lineups but only on the MKT, so they really need to call this the, the, the Select, but they chose to do it, not me. So Also, the back seat back there is a 60-40 split bench seat, seats three in that second row. The only seating configuration available in the Premier. If you're wanting bucket seats, you'll need to go to the reserve for that. So again, my video link is down below. You can check that out in the comments as well as at the end of this video if you know you're wanting those bucket seats for that second row. You have to go to reserve to get that, so just keep that in mind as well. Uh, optional equipment on the uh, for the back seat is uh, the rear inflatable seat belts. That's the only really standalone option on the Premier uh, that you're uh, able to acquire. Uh, so you can have those rear inflatable seat belts on those two outbound seats. Uh, and then one thing that a lot of vehicles don't have that this has as well is it has the manual sunshades for those windows in the second row. Uh, so that's a, a great feature. You can pull that up if it's sun's coming in uh, real bright. Uh, the kids can pull that up and it comes in real handy. Uh, so that's that's not available in a lot of other luxury vehicles and a lot of them you have to go up to their top of the line to get that standard on all your MKTs. Now here on the door you have your power windows, locks, mirrors, which is including auto one touch for all four of your windows. Again another feature you don't see in a lot of other vehicles and also your driver memory for three different drivers there. Also here for your steering wheel we mentioned the power and tilt telescoping steering wheel but also you have your leather wrapped with the wood applique at the top up there uh, so you're going to have that too and then you have power adjustable pedals so those pedals will come forward and back so really any size driver is going to feel comfortable with all the different power adjustments to be able to put your position for your steering wheel and your seat and your pedals just in the right place for you. And a cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel. On the right side, you have Bluetooth and your audio controls over there on, on there. And then this does have your six-speed automatic transmission with select shifts. So you have paddle shifters up here. So if you want to go in that select shift mode, you can use those to shift the vehicle up and down, giving that kind of that sport mode uh, there for you. Now here on the instrument panel, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, don't forget the push button start is right here. So you can just press that. Don't have to get the keys out of your pocket. And then for your climate control, you have your dual zone auto climate control for here in the front. Driver front passenger have two different temperatures. And you also get rear climate control. So you can give them the uh, uh, controls back there. They control it back here on the back of this console. Uh, and they can have the, those uh, controls as well back there. And I almost forgot. Uh, does come standard with rear heated seats as well as standard equipment too on all your uh, Premier and above. Uh, so every MKT is going to have the heated seats back there as well. Uh, now also up here, your audio controls. It does use a slider system for your fan control as well as your volume control. It does come with AM, FM, CD player with Sirius satellite as standard equipment. And it's going to have that Sync 3 system. That's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system. If you haven't had a chance, I do have a video, a how-to video exactly uh, how to connect your phone, how to work the entire system on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos. I'll put a link down below as well, as uh, well as there should be some one showing up on this video right now so that you can be able to link over to that video and watch that video. But it's a great system where you can, you can control your phone, your entertainment, your audio uh, sound system uh, through there, and then your backup cameras are going to come into view on that full 8 inch screen as well. So a uh, real nice uh, system uh, that I think you'll really appreciate. And this does have ambient lighting and you control the ambient lighting through the screen and your Sync 3 and the settings uh, and it's going to light up your cup holders as well as your foot wells uh, and even your door compartments uh, too. So part of the ambient lighting right now that's on that white uh, when you have it turned on with the headlights on it'll be whatever different colors that you want on that so it uh, looks real sharp. 
Also standard equipment up here, auto dimming rear view mirror, garage openers for three different garage doors as well. Uh, I believe it's standard equipment, so uh, real nice. And then don't forget the uh, glass roof with the power sunshade too. So uh, great equipment all across the board. Now again, if you were looking for a little bit more equipment, uh, some of those other packages, you're gonna need, wanna go to the reserve for that. Uh, the only uh, real standalone option on the Premier model is those rear inflatable seat belts. So that's a lot of standard equipment on this vehicle, and there's a lot of, a lot of uh, standard features there that you can't find on a lot of other luxury SUVs uh, like this. So I, I think you'll really be pleased there uh, on all the equipment that you're getting that's pretty much standard on all your MKTs. So I think you'll all appreciate that. Now, there's some other packages and groups that are now available on the reserve. So let's go over those. One of those is that Elite Group. Uh, so that has six great features that I think you'll really appreciate as part of that group. One of those is your Bliss with Cross Traffic Alert. Uh, so that is your, uh, it's a great system there. If there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the mirror on that side and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And also as you're backing up, it uses that cross traffic alert. So if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the mirror on the side they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash telling you the same thing and a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. And the second feature that's available is this uh, third row seat here. It is the power fold 50-50 split bench seat back here with the tailgate mode. So what's great now is you're still able to, to on the, the Premier and the Reserve trim, you're able to get that, the manual seat. But now with the Elite package, you're able to power that down. Uh, so what's great is I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that with this uh, seating configuration. You have your buttons over here. You can pick left, right, or both, so you can control this. Uh, so you'll notice the headrests are down, so you just pull these loops if they're up and they'll lower down. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the right side over there, hit the right, and then hit tailgate. So when you press that, you're gonna see it's gonna go down into this uh, nice little tailgating mode. So what it allows you to be able to do is if you're at that, that ball game or something, you can be able to lay those down and sit in those, and maybe the drive-in, if you still have a drive-in uh, near your town, uh, you can have that capabilities. But then on the left side, if you want to stow that down so you have a flat load level in there, you can just hit the left side. We'll hit that, and then we'll hit stow. And then it's going to go ahead and then lower that all the way into the floor. So what's great is it powers it down for you, so especially if you have your hands full, you can just go over here, press it real quick, and it's going to go ahead and lay it down like that. So that comes in real handy. Also, if you have kids that need to, hey, when you go ahead and lay that down, they can just press that button. It's easy for them to understand, and they can lower it down, and they don't have to worry about the, the loops and such like that. So it comes in very handy. So let me go ahead and put those back into position there. Hit the normal button there and hit both and you'll see no matter what configuration they're in, they're going to put it back into that normal position there, uh, which is really nice. And I think you're going to get a lot of use out of that. Now the other four features are here on the interior of the vehicle. One of those is the heated steering wheel. So that's going to come in real handy during the winter. Uh, you, you can set it up with a remote start as well, so that way it's going to go ahead and heat that steering wheel. You can control that uh, right through the uh, system here. It uh, makes it a little bit uh, real easy to use. Just press that and it's going to go ahead and heat the steering wheel up. And uh, really makes your hands feel nice. Um, it's a great feature. If you ever have a vehicle with, uh, with that on it, you'll never want to go without it again. So I think you'll really uh, find the convenience out of that. The other three features that uh, are part of this package are have to do with your audio sound system. Now it gets to your THX certified audio sound system. So a nice big speaker up here on the dash, as well as lots of speakers throughout, even one in that rear cargo back there. So you're gonna have a really good high quality sound system that I think you'll really appreciate. Also that gets your HD radio to go along with that. And then uh, your last feature is going to be that navigation. So, and with the Sync 3 system, it's now that pinch to zoom capability. So, uh, it's real nice and easy to be able to, to zoom that around, find your destinations. Of course, you use that voice commands to hit those uh, destinations as well. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to use. And that new Sync 3 system is a nice upgraded system. I think you'll find the navigation so much better than the, the MyLink and Touch uh, screen system was. And I think you'll really appreciate it. Now let's talk about the technology package. That's a package we see a lot, and we order that a lot on with that Elite package, and uh, I think you'll find these four features very valuable. Uh, and one of those is the Active Park Assist. Now that's gonna help you find and parallel park the vehicle. It controls all the uh, steering, and you control the gas and the brake. And I do have a video on our Enhanced Active Park Assist, which is the, the, uh, the, the second generation of this system that actually does some other features too, but at the beginning of that video is going to be that parallel parking part of that uh, version that this has on it, and you can check that out so you get an outside as well as an inside perspective of exactly how that system works. I think you'll find it valuable. If you're in a city where you really do a lot of that, uh, it's going to put that in the smallest parking space. It's going to help you find it um, and then take care of all the steering while you control the gas and the brake. 
Now the other three features are some great driver assist features that I think you'll really appreciate. One of those is adaptive cruise control. Uh, and here on the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to have this gap uh, right here, and that allows you to, to control the gap between you and the vehicle in front of you uh, for your cruise control. So it really allows you to be able to take your foot off the gas, also not have to use the brake either, and be able to have to hit that resume all the time. So it really adjusts the speed. So as you approach somebody from behind, it's going to slow you down to go their speed. You pass them, it's going to speed you back up if there's nobody in front of you. So a real nice system, and you're going to use the brake a lot less, save you on your brakes and your brake pads as well, and really help you out that way. Another feature that helps out with uh, really safety here, and that is your, your collision warning with brake support. Uh, that's a great safety feature here. If you're, uh, you don't have the cruise set, but if you have your foot on the gas, you're coming up behind somebody and they're stopped completely, uh, the system uh, senses that and knows that. It's going to put a series of lights on your dash and a series of tones. Uh, that that person is, is stopped ahead of you and you need to stop and it actually initiates the brake so when you transition over it's already slowing down and uh, applying that brake so that way you're going to stop even faster so real nice safety feature that you're going to have uh, comes in real handy uh, here especially in town there uh, also the third or the last feature I should say the fourth one is your lane keeping system now that is not just an alert system it is, actually is a lane keeping system uh, you just press the button here to activate the lane keeping system and then on your dash you're going to see there has two lines within your lane so it actually does see both of those lines and it even does the dotted line so um, what's really great about that is if you're going to go outside your lane it's going to bump you and keep you in that lane uh, so that's real nice you want to make sure you use your turn signals uh, because uh, otherwise it'll try to keep you in that lane have your turn signal on it knows that you're it's okay that for you to go over that line uh, so it's a real nice system it even senses whether or not your hands are on the steering wheels so you want to make sure that you have your hands on the steering wheel uh, alert you of that and those kind of features so it's a great system there I think you'll really appreciate uh, that it really comes in handy on this package now let's talk about some of the standalone options here uh, so what's great about this is that you have all these options that I'm going to talk about next are uh, standalone on any of the reserves so you don't have to get that in the elite package to get those as uh, options uh, you can get those so talking about the rear seat here some great flexibility back there you can get the bucket seats in the back seat as, as uh, optional equipment and when you do get the bucket seats they come with the cooled seat feature as well so that's uh, something you just don't see in a lot of other vehicles so heated and cooled seats back there if you have the bucket seats so I think your kids will really enjoy that and be glad that you got that on those uh, hot summer days also you can get that second row console with the refrigerator so that refrigerated console there so you can put pop and stuff in there different things turn that on keeps things cool for that long trip uh, really comes in handy uh, so yeah, you uh, can get that console as well. And it's a nice big flow through console uh, that has some cup holders and some other compartments as well uh, that, that comes along with that there. So that's another option for the vehicle. The rear inflatable safety, safety belts there on those two outside seats uh, is standalone option. So you can also get it with the uh, course, course the bench seat. And so that's gonna help them in that, that collision, that front collision, it's gonna inflate that and help protect those kids in the back seat there. And also, you do have the headrest DVD players. Uh, so what's great about those and that system, a lot of people may not realize, is that those are two individual players. Uh, so if you have kids back there, you know, they're fighting over what they want to watch. I want to watch this. I want to play this game or system or whatever. Um, you have two different ones, so they're able to do that. So you can play a DVD on one. They even have audio video cables, so you can even plug in a lot of your different gaming systems. So that way they can be entertained back there, and you don't have to worry about them uh, uh, bothering you during your trip. And so that way uh, you're able to just go on that long trip, and they're, everybody's happy in the vehicle, and I think you'll really be pleased on that one. So that's available as well. So some four great options there in the second row seat. Also, you get a different wheel option too. Now you have to get a 20 inch wheel uh, that's a premium paint aluminum wheel, so a little bit bigger, a little bit different design on that wheel, so, but it's a, also another great option uh, that you're able to get. And then also your panoramic Vista roof. So uh, of course standard equipment, as we talked about earlier, is gonna be that fixed glass roof, but now you can have that, the power feature to that as well that's gonna open that uh, moon roof up uh, and, or the roof I should say up, a little bit bigger than a normal moon roof. So that's why they call it that, the Vista roof. And so that's another feature that's optional equipment that you can get on the vehicle. And then I think I forgot to mention earlier, standard equipment is your carpeted mats with that Lincoln embroidering on them for the first as well as the second row foot wells but you can get the optional all-weather mats as well. There are Lincoln ones uh, with that Lincoln emblem on there. Uh, they're real nice all-weather mats that you can have for that first and second row as well. So 
uh, some great optional equipment there. So as you can see, a lot of standard equipment, not a lot of extra uh, optional equipment and different packages uh, because they come really well loaded and I think you're really going to be pleased. I might be biased because I'm a Lincoln MKT owner myself, uh, but these are a great driving vehicle. They are a great family vehicle as well and lots of luxury features that are available. Some things you just don't see in other vehicles uh, that I think you'll really be impressed with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our website, LawMacArthurLincoln.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures. You can also pull up the window sticker on all of our new Lincoln inventory there. So definitely check that out. Our videos will be on there as well uh, for each individual vehicle. I try to do a video on those uh, walk around so you can go over the equipment that's specific to that vehicle. So uh, do enjoy those videos. If you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message at 785 378 5031. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a lot of information from it on the 2018 Lincoln MKT Reserve.